So, what would you say are the key trends that you're seeing this year in your world? So the key trends, I think, um, are twofold. So you could say the one is from the customer in, the other is from the technology out. And what I mean with that is if you look at the technology, it provides tremendous horizontal potential, but the customer needs are obviously vertical. And so what we see very much from the engineering perspective um, here at Cisco is that there's two skills that correlate with that. So the pervasiveness of APIs across the infrastructure, so the programmability skill that really allows you to tailor uh, the infrastructure to the customer requirements. So fast prototyping and going into products and extending on the functionality that the products provide. And then the other one is customer in, is those business needs and the fact that more and more the lines of business not only decide where the budget goes, but their requirements need to be met by the technology. And that's where we have our business architects uh, or the business architecture skill to be able to tie those two things together and really land that understanding. So it's about potential that is here and then the relevance that you enable uniquely to the customer, but then how do you land that understanding? And as a Cisco partner, obviously, Natalik brings us together in a, in a fantastic way. Um, the programmability that you drive internally uh, with your teams and really the co-creation that happens there. So it's important that those two trends meet and you get co-creation. We call that AI ops, the fact that you have the technology teams and the line of business teams together driving towards a common vision for the business and how you digitize and drive that transformation. And that common vision then also creates commonality of language. So uh, that is really uh, the two things we're seeing come together uh, and exemplified in, uh, in a partner like Matilic.